Hello, and welcome to this episode of Man of Watches. In this episode, I will be revealing the list of the 10 greatest wristwatches of all time. These watches aren't necessarily the most complicated or most expensive wristwatches, but they are the most iconic luxury wristwatches ever made. This list will be in descending order from the 10th to the 1st greatest luxury watch. In 10th place, the Omega Seamaster James Bond watches, all of the automatic models. The automatic Omega Seamaster Bond watch has been a favourite of collectors for many years and as a result the prices are starting to rise. A good condition Bond watch can be purchased for as little as $1700 and has great investment potential. I myself have a reference 2531.80 which I purchased for just $1800 on the second hand market. The watch is iconic amongst watch collectors and is easily recognisable with its beautiful blue face. The new Bond watches feature Omega's in-house coaxial movement and due to them being so new they suffer significantly more than the older Bond automatic watches. They do not have blue face and have a different face as you saw in the first image. In ninth place is the Breitling Navitano. In the last 20 years the large watch has become more and more popular and luxury watches have continuously been growing in size. The Navitano fits into the top 10 watches of all time because it, is, it was always large before large was the rage in the watch world, and it was one of the watches that probably inspired the large watch phenomenon that exists today. At the time, it was a revolutionary watch because of its size, and today it is looked back on with great respect by watch collectors all over the world. The watch comes with either a quartz or an automatic movement, but obviously the automatic models are the only option for any serious watch collector. The watch is a chronograph watch and is probably Breitling's most famous watch amongst the luxury watch world. An automatic Navitana can be found on the second hand market for as little as $3,000. In 8th place, the Rolex Daytona. The Daytona is one of Rolex's most luxurious and expensive watches, along with watches such as the Sky Dweller and the President. The Daytona is the only current model Rolex to feature a chronograph movement. It can be found in white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, platinum, two-tone, or just plain steel. For many, the Daytona is a sign of making it in life. It is quite pricey, often uses precious metals, and it is a piece sought after by many collectors as their holy grail piece. A two-tone or steel Daytona can be found on the second hand market for just under $6,000. Moving along now to 7th place, which is the Diego Lacoutte Reverso. The Reverso has been one of the world's most popular watches since it was released in 1931. It was introduced for English officers who were working in India. These officers were breaking their watches when they were playing polo. The Reverso was named this way because the watch has a swivel movement where the case is flipped to reveal the case back. This is so that if a polo pal player fell off their horse, that it would the watch would be hit on the case back, and so the watch wouldn't be too da damaged. The reversal is made primarily in steel, however there are gold versions of the watch. A steel men's manual winding reverso can be found on the second hand market starting at $2,700. In sixth place, it has to be the Audemars Piaget Royal Oak. Also included in this place, can be the Royal Oak Offshore. The Royal Oak is a revolutionary watch because it was the first watch to treat steel as a precious metal, which was in line with the brand's trademark logo of, to break the rules, you must first master them. The Royal Oak is Audemars Piaget's trademark watch, and when any serious watch connoisseur thinks of AP, the first thing that comes to their head is the Royal Oak. After the Royal Oak's success, Audemars Piaget released the offshore Royal Oak models, which tend to be larger, sportier watches that often contain a chronograph. The Royal Oak tends to be respected more by watch collectors, because it was the original watch that changed the way that brands approached luxury watches. A men's automatic Royal Oak can be purchased on the second-hand market, starting at around $4,000. In fifth place, we have another watch that just had to be included, the Rolex GMT Master 1. 
The GMT Master was a favorite of collectors when it was released in 1954 for pilots and navigators. To this day, collectors still love the GMT Master, particularly the black and red Coke bezel and the blue and red Pepsi bezel. And so, these watches still command high prices. Because of collectors' love for the GMT Master, Rolex has recently, this year at Basel World, released a new GMT Master 2, which is a somewhat tribute to the iconic GMT Master 1 Pepsi bezel watch. The new watch also has a Pepsi bezel, however this time it was made of a ceramic, scratch-proof material. The original GMT Masters were made in steel and the occasional gold watch and featured an automatic in-house movement produced by Rolex along with the GMT function. A good Rolex GMT Master 1 can be purchased on the secondary market for around $4,500. In fourth place is the Rolex Datejust. The Datejust is arguably one of the best watches in the world simply because it is perfect for all occasions. It can be dressed down as a sports watch, worn in the water as a summer watch, or dressed up for a black tie event. The Datejust is probably the greatest all-rounder ever produced. The watch features a date function which is displayed under Rolex's trademark Cyclops date magnifier. The watch features an automatic in-house movement from Rolex. The Datejust is undeniably one of the greatest watches ever made and it has been since it was introduced by Rolex in 1945. Despite the greatness of the Datejust, it has been overshadowed by Rolex's sports watches and so the Datejust can be found at quite affordable prices on the second-hand market. A good Rolex Datejust can be found for around $2,400 on the secondary market today. In third place, we have the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. This can be only be the original watch which featured a plastic crystal and a manual winding movement. The watch makes the list because it is so iconic due to it being chosen by NASA for the first astronauts to wear the watch on the first ever trip to the moon. Omega have made many tributes to the iconic moon watch, which feature things such as the sapphire crystal case and case back, and Omega's in-house coaxial automatic movement. None of these watches, however, do the original any justice. The original Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon is the way to go, and is a very underpriced sports watch. A good Man on the Moon Speedmaster can be purchased on the secondary market for roughly $3,500. In second place, it could only be one watch, the Rolex Submariner. The Submariner is, without a doubt, the most iconic sports watch ever made, and when anybody thinks of a Rolex, or even just a sports watch, the Submariner immediately comes to mind. Since it was released to the public as a diver's watch in 1954, the Rolex Submariner has been a complete and utter success. The Submariner contains Rolex's in-house automatic movement and is waterproof to depths of 300 meters or 1,000 feet. Either the no-date sub or the dates function Rolex Submariner are both acceptable as the second best watch in the world. The watch was released as a steel watch, however over time solid gold versions of the watch and two-tone versions have been released. The Rolex Submariner, due to it being such an iconic watch, holds its value incredibly well and has great investment potential. The Rolex Submariner can be found on the secondary market starting at around $4,000. And now to the number one watch in the world. It simply has to be the Patek Philippe Calatrava. This is the most iconic watch from the number one watch brand in the world. And it is, without a doubt, the best dress watch ever invented. The Calatrava is possibly so great due to its simple, uncluttered dial. The watch was released in 1932 and shows that the wearer of the watch has truly made it in life. 95% of the world have no idea what a Patek Philippe is, and that is just part of its beauty. It is simple, discreet, and beautiful. As Archie Luxury once said, It is the watch you have not got, you have not to big note yourself. It is the watch you have, because you know that you have the best watch in the world. And I think Archie hit the mark when he said that. That quote basically sums up the Patek Philippe Calatrava. The Calatrava comes in the precious metals, white gold, yellow gold, and platinum. Due to 
Due to it being the best watch in the world, the Calatrava is quite a pricey watch and starts around $8,000 and only goes up in price from there. So it also comes in rose gold. Thank you for watching this episode of Man of Watches. Please give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content on watches. Email me with any questions, comments or queries about this video or just watches in general at manofwatches at gmail.com. Thank you.